Hello, and welcome to Michigan versus Minnesota volleyball here in Chrysler Center. Got Michigan three and one in Big Ten play, tied for fourth. Minnesota ranked 11th in the country. Got Jess Robinson leading the country in hitting percentage, 498. She is going to be a key to this game. I, I, I got William Gregor here. Do you like to be called Will or William? Will, either or is fine. All we right. can go with Will for tonight. Right, That's I'll okay. I'll call you Will. Um, uh, what are some keys for this game? Well, Michigan taking on a, a team ranked 13 spots higher than them. They're the, the 24th ranked Wolverines versus the 11th ranked Golden Gophers. It seems to me that a lot of the teams uh, out west or outside of the Midwest in the Big Ten are, are pretty good volleyball uh, as we have the Chrysler Center darkened for the light show. Uh, but Michigan just needs to stay consistent. This is a big game against a good Minnesota team. and uh, Michigan at 12-2. and two, even though Minnesota's 7-5, and five, they, they do represent a problem. So I'm excited to see what happens in this matchup. And hopefully, uh, for the Wolverines' sake, they can take a jump in the Big Ten. Yeah. Last time we were here at the Chrysler Center, Michigan played Ohio State. This is another similar team in terms of uh, a well-tested team. Ohio State is ranked 6th in the country at 6-6. Six and six. Minnesota 7-5. The record is not great, but they played a gauntlet of a schedule, including uh, number one Texas. Uh, they lost to them, but it, it's, it's gonna be a big test for Michigan. Well-tested team Minnesota versus Michigan, who really hasn't played that many uh, uh, great teams here. As it's getting dark in here. The hype video has played. The fans are clapping. Got Maddie Dow, number six, starting. Starting at Libero, number nine, Hannah Grant. Jess Robinson, Michigan's MVP, out on the floor. Jackie Boney, another high flyer, hard hitter. May Pertovsky, another very tall player. Final player to come out on the floor, Kendall Murray. A lot of players that made a big impact last season returning to the floor for the Wolverines here. Uh, one of the last couple games at Chrysler Center before they moved to Cliff Keen for the rest of the season. But uh, good starting lineup for the Wolverines, a veteran starting lineup. Good to see the Michigan fans uh, show up here uh, today. No pom-poms, it's not a maze out like versus Ohio State, but fans look to be very enthusiastic. We got uh, the Victor's chant going, and they look very excited to, to watch their Wolverines. Here we go. The Maze Rage is out in full force. The Stormtrooper is in attendance a key player to watch on uh, on Minnesota Milani Shaftmaster second in the Big Ten 
in assists per set. First is uh, we saw her against Ohio State, Mac Podraza. Podraza. She had 48 against uh, Michigan last time. So hopefully Michigan can 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 stop uh, the assists. We got Maddie Dowd serving to start set one. She serves. Um, oh, a spike, number 52, Carter Booth. Michigan just could not get there. 1-0 Minnesota. Really nice play by Booth, and it's hard to stop. She's six foot seven from Denver, Colorado. And the serve, little floater. Tough save by Jess Mruzik. Maybe that was going out of bounds, but 2-0 Minnesota. Michigan fans making some noise. And the serve. Dead Brown up to Jess Robinson. And she spikes it down. The attempted block by Carter Booth, no good. I mean, you get the ball in Jess Robinson's hands, good things will happen. Great team play by the Wolverines to get that point there. Kendall Murray to serve, 2-1 Minnesota. Great save by number seven to Hannah Brown. The fake to Jess Robinson, but the slam by Kendall Murray. And that one just barely snuck in the end line to go against Minnesota. Almost out of bounds, really hard to stop. Key for Michigan to tie it up here. 2-2. Kendall Murray with the serve. Seems it. A tip. The attempted spike by Jess Music is saved by Minnesota. And the block by May Pertovsky as well as Jess. Oh no. Never mind. It was actually not a block. Yeah, it looked like it went out uh, on Pertovsky there. So are sometimes because. The volleyball players, no matter what, if they win or lose, they high five. I really like that. Another fake, fake spike to Jess Robinson, and May Pertovsky slams it down. What a massive spike by Pertovsky, one of the veterans on this Michigan team. Uh, an incredible play that there is no prayer for Minnesota to to, to return. Robinson up to Booth, saved by Robinson. by Minnesota, could not be saved by Michigan. Close, everyone was on the ground looking for that ball, but too little too late for the Wolverines. Still only down by one point, four to three. Wolverines are allowed. Oh. Kendall Murray with the tip. Minnesota saves it. Minnesota up, and that is going to be a spike. Hannah Grant could not get it. And Minnesota's up 5-3. Here's Elise McGee to serve for Minnesota. Kendall Murray. Spike by Jess Music is saved by Minnesota. And the ref calls net, I believe. Or one of the Minnesota players went over the net. So that's gonna be point for Michigan, 5-4 Minnesota. May Pertovsky to serve. And it's into the net. A tough break for Michigan. Michigan 
Amber Beals in for May Pertowski, substitution for Michigan. Jenna Wenas with the serve to Maruzic. Up to Jackie Boney. She spikes it. Jenna. Jenna Wenas. I don't really know how to say her last name. But she could not get it. Michigan cuts the lead. 6-5. Minnesota up for the spike. And it is spiked down by Minnesota. 7-5, great spike by Taylor Landfair, who is Minnesota's leading points per set score, second in the Big Ten. She is now serving. Kendall Taylor tries the spike from deep, and that is in to the net. Minnesota, 8-5. Yeah, Murray was a little bit deep for the spike there. I'm surprised uh, she went for that instead of just lobbing it over the net. That's a, a, a point for Minnesota. Attempt by Jackie... Boney to spike it. No uh, good. And the largest lead of the game so far for Minnesota, 9-5. to five. You see why they are ranked 11th in the country, consistently able to put together good possessions. Michigan puts it up for the spike. Kendall Murray, a dig by Minnesota, the counterattack. Michigan countering Kendall Murray. Minnesota again. Wow. What a dig by Michigan. Minnesota back. Kendall Murray loading up and just out of bounds. Maybe the best rally we've had so far today. Minnesota leads 10-5. Definitely the best rally so far today. Just back and forth, back and forth. Michigan unable to put the dagger into Minnesota to end it, though, and they end up down five. Kendall Murray loads up. And the tip, but she cannot get it over the net. And there's going to be a timeout on the floor. And it's not like Kendall Murray's short at six foot two, but when you see Minnesota's front line having a, a six seven freshman in Carter Booth, it's it's tough to um, get those balls over the net and onto the floor for a point. Yeah. So how can Michigan uh, regain the the momentum here? I mean, it was six five, and Minnesota has scored five straight points here. Yeah, uh, that's uh, what I said earlier. I mean, Minnesota has proven to be the number 11th ranked team in the country. Uh, they've been able to string together consistent, good offensive results so far. And it's just been hard for the Wolverines to return. Um, Minnesota hasn't made as many mistakes. We've seen a couple serves go into the net, uh, a couple spikes and sets go into the net for the Wolverines that have cost them tremendously so far. And Minnesota is just playing a less sloppy game right now. Yeah. Some, uh, some in-depth stats. Minnesota has zero errors. Michigan has four assists errors a ser and a serving error. So, yeah, Michigan has made a lot more mistakes. we got to come out firing. And uh, have their uh, head in the... Game here, uh, uh, coming out of the timeout. Got Scotty Johnson in the game here for Michigan. Taylor Landfair is going to serve again for Michigan. Serve to the right. Oh, the fake to Kendall. Oh, the fake to Kendall Murray. Jackie Boney spikes it, but it's just to the right of the boundary. And just like we said, Michigan hurting themselves with self-mistakes. Serve. Wow, very lucky. Just catches the net and goes over. Kendall Murray the, attempting the deep spike again. 
and it's out of bounds. And that hasn't been working for her so far. I, I don't know why Michigan continues to do it. Uh, and, and we saw, uh, we're talking about errors, but Minnesota got lucky there. That ball hit the net on the serve, uh, but ended up going over. But uh, out of that timeout, two straight points for Minnesota. Now they're up eight, 13 to five. Tough hole to dig out for the Wolverines, but it's, it's still possible. Looks like I got another timeout on the floor. Michigan did not like what they saw out there. Very surprising, Just Robinson has, uh, I mean, uh, Michigan's most uh, most effective attacker is has, has not been in the game as much as thought she would be. And I also think we've seen um, a lot of a lot of hits to Kendall Murray's side, um, and not to pick on her, but she's had a couple mistakes, and I think Minnesota's going to continue to exploit that and send the ball her way. Um, and we, we've seen Jackie Boney, uh, every time she's gotten a ball on her side, she spiked it down. The last one was out of bounds, yeah, but um, she's been able to uh, put some more force into those spikes than Kendall Murray has. Also with uh, Murray's spikes coming from deeper on the court than Boney's. The Michigan uh, huddle right now. All the players look to be speaking. Hannah Grant looks to be the uh, the leader of that other right now. And here comes number two, Allison Jacobs. And the serve from Minnesota, Taylor Lanfair. Michigan up. Oh, a block by Minnesota and a save. Minnesota Michigan are meeting at the net. Spikes it just in front of the attack line and right past Hannah Grant, out of the reach of Jess Music, 14 5. Minnesota really taking control here. They've just put together better offensive possessions. They've been able to return whatever Michigan has given them uh, and put it in a spot where Michigan can't return it back. Taking the Michigan crowd out of the game so far. Attacks Jess Music back to back. Up to number two, Allison Jacobs. Unsuccessful spike in Minnesota. Wow. Taylor Landfair. And that's now, what, nine straight points for Minnesota? Yeah. Very tough for Michigan, but um, after this serve, I'll, I'll get to what you said about the Michigan crowd. Taylor Landfair three times in a row has attacked. Number five, Jess Merzik. Michigan finally gets a point. There's a point for Michigan, and the crowd gets back involved. Um, a lot of them are here for the free bucket hat and the, the cheaper chicken. From what I've heard, it was $1, but I, I've also heard it was free tonight for the first 100 fans. But uh, given this game started a little bit late, and Michigan is down nine po or 10 points now as Minnesota scores again. Powerful um, spike. We might have a bit of a drain from the arena as the game goes on if Michigan continues to have this kind of deficit. Minnesota serves in the middle. Knuckleball serve. Michigan gets it over to Minnesota. Saved by Maruzic. Michigan gets it over. Up to Carter Booth. Blocked by and and, yeah, having a six foot seven person on your front line to be able to block, not only spike the ball in as she did, but she blocked two shots and Michigan just can't recover. It's, it's like a literal wall at the top of the net that the Wolverines just can't get uh, get past. Now it's 17 to six, down 11 points in a flash it seems. And, and I mean, there's another timeout. Kendall Murray looks to be uh, taking control here, talking to the team. Or maybe that's the coach. But Michigan's really got to find a way to step up here. Because you look at the, uh, the, the hit percentage. Minnesota is at 444. Michigan's is in the negative, negative 0.105. 
I've never seen that before. Shout out to my friend down there, Garen Laddick. He's uh, mopping the floors, making sure they stay clean. Always great operation staffs all over Michigan's athletic campus, keeping our, our stadiums prepared for all of our athletic events that we hold here in Ann Arbor. Looks to be a great mopper. <laughs> break down the clean. technique. Yeah, it was funny. I walked I, I walked into the arena tonight. I, I actually just played flag football against him wow. last night, so that was fun. Uh, I've worked what with him for a while. Like? He played center. I played a little tight end. Uh, we both had a similar impact. My team lost on a touchdown, sadly. Oh, but that's rough. both out here working tonight, so it's good to see. 17-6, a very football-like score. More points in the Thursday night game last night. Oh, boy. I didn't even get to watch that game. I just saw it on my phone. It didn't look too fun. You know, this volleyball game is definitely way more exciting. Minnesota to serve. To Amber Beals. Jess Robinson the tip. But she gets the net. Minnesota 18-6. Tripling Michigan's points here. C.C. McGraw to serve for Minnesota. Tacking just for as again. That is tipped by Minnesota. Michigan finally gets a point. Allison Jacobs with the kill. And, and that's a potential strategy, I guess, for Michigan. Uh, if they want to avoid getting blocked at the net, you, you hit it in a trajectory that it, it just goes off the fingertips of the blockers and goes out of bounds. Scotty Johnson to serve. So up to Carter Booth, but the fake and the spike goes just off the hands of Hannah Grant. The kill by McKenna Wucher. So the same sort of thing happened to Michigan. Uh, last possession, that ball was going to go out of bounds, but Minnesota touched it. Same thing, Hannah Grant touches a ball that was about to go out of bounds. Point to Minnesota. Serve goes to Jess Muzik again. They're really attacking her, and Jess Robinson with a finesse spike. Deep spike for Minnesota. Saved by Hannah Grant. Minnesota saved with the libero. And the tip by Minnesota, corralled by Michigan. Deep hit from Jess Music, but it is out of bounds. The Minnesota servers have really been attacking Jess Maruzic here. And you kind of saw Maruzic try and do uh, what I was talking about earlier. Get that ball on a trajectory where Carter Booth in her six foot seven frame can't knock it down, but it'll touch her hands and go up in the air. Just miss the fingertips. That is going to be a point for Michigan. I believe Minnesota may have hit the net there. Well, it looked like Carter Booth uh, tried to lay it up softly, but she missed the court, and her hit ended up out of bounds. So Michigan up to Booth, but it's fake and slammed down by McKenna Wucher. And the call is out of bounds. Minnesota looks like they want to review. To me, that ball looked like it should be a point for Minnesota, in yeah. my opinion. We'll have to see the replays again, but um, I think they're completely right for wanting to take a look at this play. And Minnesota has offic officially challenged it. Wow, there's a Michigan State shirt in the crowd, and it has been snatched and torn apart. Not of that here. Well, that's interesting. I didn't even see that. I did see a kid in Michigan State shorts the other day. That's the first time I've seen I've seen the Spartan logo on campus uh, all year, I think. Yeah. So. Not a good thing to wear. Especially here in Chrysler Arena. And strategic move from Michigan's uh, 
I mean, Strizic moved from Minnesota for the challenge. They have actually won the point back. It's been overturned. 21-8 Minnesota. And like I said, it, it looked like that on first glance. Um, I'm surprised that the official called it a point for Michigan to begin with, but Minnesota gets their point back. And they return to having a commanding 13-point lead. Minnesota to serve. To Marusic again. Up fake to Robinson, but slammed down by May Pertowski. Very effective faking Jess Robinson, drawing the attention of the Minnesota defense. Now Robinson to serve. Libero Hannah Grant comes out for Jackie Boney. No Libero on the floor. Looks like it hurts them there. Allison Jacobs with the uh, error there. And immediately Grant comes back out for Robinson. Minnesota to serve Elise McGee. To Merce again, really attacking her. And wow, Minnesota, that is a kill from number eight, Naya Gross. Looks like it was a pass from Michigan, but she slammed it down instead. Just that front line from Minnesota continues to be impossible to stop for Michigan. Serve to Marusic again. A block by Gross, but it is out of play. That's a point for Michigan. And I mean, uh, Gross is six foot three. We've, we've talked enough about Carter Booth being six foot seven. Um, we've seen Landfer out there. She's six foot five. These are some of the tallest girls I've ever seen yes. in, in, in volleyball. Um, Michigan's tallest player is Jackie Boney at six foot four. It's really hard to compete when you don't have the comparable size that Minnesota does. Size is very effective here for Minnesota. 16, Haley Hallgren, her first appearance in the game to serve. Little, little knuckleball serve. Up to Minnesota, Naya hits it over. Michigan with the spike, but it is an error by Minnesota. Hit, bumped out of bounds. Michigan gets a point, 23-11 Minnesota. Almost there for the Minnesota Libero to return that one. That's, a, that's gonna be a service error. Number 16, Hannah Hallgren. It is a set point here for Minnesota. What can Michigan do here to, to gain some confidence? I, just got to keep scoring. <laughs> just got to close yeah. the lead. I mean, there's not much else to do, uh, especially as this set is one point away from, from being closed. But uh, you got to get some... Some more points on the board than they do there. They attack. Just moves again, but it goes overhead. Great play by Music to, to judge the ball. Now she's going to serve for Michigan. 24-12. Uh, up to Naya. Naya Gross, who slaps, slams it right at Hannah Grant, and that's going to be the set. Minnesota has taken set one, 25 to 12. For minor first to three sets. Hopefully Michigan can uh, regroup here, but but just a very dominant set overall for Minnesota. Yeah, tough uh, getting doubled up there, 12 to 25. We'll take a quick break and return for the second set in about two minutes.
We're back. We got Setu coming up here in one minute. The Michigan band is trying to get the crowd back in it. Because, I mean, in volleyball, when the crowd is not in it, it makes it very tough. The players have to bring all the energy. The crowd is very helpful. 30 seconds until the second set starts. Minnesota lost the last one 25 to 12. Getting doubled up isn't too great, but they have uh, a couple more chances to even the score against the 11th ranked Gophers. The crowd's still staying pretty strong for what it, it started out at. We've had a couple games across campus today. Softball had an exhibition against Bowling Green. They won that one handily. I believe the score was 10 to nothing the last time I checked. Michigan Hockey currently winning 7 to 4 against Lindenwood. Eric Ciccolini just put in uh, that seventh goal for Michigan. But an exciting Friday of, of college athletics for WCBN Sports to cover here in Ann Arbor. Tomorrow at noon, look out for the Michigan Wolverines taking on the Indiana Hoosiers at Memorial Stadium in Bloomington, Indiana. I'll be there getting up at 3.30 tomorrow morning to drive all the way and get back at 10 o'clock at night tomorrow. But Kobe, take away the second set. Yeah. Rivalry, because I say, Michigan up fake to Jess Robinson, but it is blocked by Minnesota Kendall Murray. I mean, Minnesota's front line is absolutely dominating Michigan right now. They can't get anything past them. They're just too tall. I mean, I see them smiling at each other. It's just tough. <laughs> tough to get anything over them. Up to Jess Robinson and gets it just over. Minnesota players. Minnesota with the ball. To Carter. And, wow, Carter Booth slams it down. That was about as powerful as a slam dunk, I'd say. I mean, she doesn't get up that high, but... I it mean, doesn't really matter. <laughs> I mean, her arm is just so powerful. That ball almost bounced into, like, the second couple rows of seats here at the Chrysler Center. To Jess Robinson, but another block. Carter Booth. I mean, we got a star in the making here in Ann Arbor. Yeah, freshman. Uh, still just putting her mark on this game. And Minnesota taking right where they left off from the first set. We saw it get close. It was 6-5 to five at one point in the first set. Ended 25-12. to 12, Now 3 nothing Minnesota. And that is going to be a kill for May Kurtowski. Finally, Michigan gets a point just out of the reach of the Minnesota defense. So hard to spike it when you have to get over someone who's six seven. I mean, that's just the finesse game has gotten improved. Here's Kendall Murray with the serve. To the libero, number five off to Carter Booth. I mean, there's nothing you can do about it. <laughs> I mean, they, they they can do that every time, and it's going to work. Hannah Grant's tried to dive at it twice from her libero position, and she's almost gotten there, but the ball comes down too fast and with too much force, and from such an angle that it makes it really awkward to dig out. A. Protovsky, the spike to Car fake to Carter Booth, little, little finesse play by Minnesota. Michigan up to May Protovsky. Minnesota saves to Carter Booth, and the block by Jess Robinson could not be saved by Minnesota. 4-2, finally, Jess Robinson gets going. That is a key block right there. Really, really impactful block for Michigan to avoid going down 5-1. to one. Gophers sliding all over the back end to try and dig that one out. Unsuccessful. Jess Robinson the serve. And that is an error on Minnesota. Ra Rachel Kilkelly with the error. 4-3 Minnesota. And here come the Wolverines. Close again, 4-3. to three. Got a Jess Robinson fathead in the crowd. Minnesota fake to Carter Booth. Blocked by Michigan. 
and Minnesota cannot recover. It is all tied up here in Ann Arbor. Jess Robinson Fathead is waving. Here she is to serve. Just going to fake to Carter Booth. And that hits Kendall Murray in the face. I don't know, but that is will be Minnesota's point, 5-4. We're here at 5-4. This is about how close it was at the beginning of the first set. But then Minnesota separated. Michigan needs to keep pace with the Golden Gophers. Off to Bertowski, tip over to Minnesota defense. Taylor Landfair with the spike. Michigan recovers. Spike by Michigan, back to Minnesota. The finesse hit, Michigan up to Jess Muzik. The tip by Minnesota, but she crashes into the net. That'll be 5-5. And we got a set here. Michigan's recovered a little bit. Michigan's hit percentage is now over zero. Very impressive. The serve from Michigan. Minnesota up to Taylor Landfair. Leading point scorer in this game, and she kills it. And here's where we were last set, five to six, Minnesota leading. We'll see what happens from here. Jenna Wanas to serve. And into the net, does not get the lucky bounce. And it's 6-6, back and forth here. Let's see if Michigan can grab a lead and maybe pull away. And the feeling, the atmosphere is definitely a little bit different than it was at the first set at the same point. We're at here tied 6-6. Michigan has the momentum, I would say. Just music. Minnesota Taylor with like the, looks like she threw it. And Kendall Murray with the hit. Minnesota gets it up. Taylor hits off the Michigan blockers. Out of bounds. Point Minnesota. Taylor Landfair to serve now. They're getting up either Taylor Landfair or Carter Brew. Those, those are their two options right here. Landfair with the serve. Corralled by Michigan. Up to Kendall with the tip. Saved by the Bear of Minnesota. And the spike is just out of bounds by McKenna Reacher. Great judging by Kendall Murray. And Jackie Boney really was super excited after that point. She was jumping up and down, and, and she's still jumping into everybody on the sidelines. Yeah. <laughs> Michigan really excited in the second set. Yeah. Up to number three on Minnesota, and that is... Blocked by Michigan, but out of bounds. Point, Minnesota. So to serve, the libero, CC McGraw. Up to Kendall Murray, and that is slammed down, just out of the reach of Elise, no, of Taylor Landfair, actually. And it's 8-8 here in Ann Arbor. We do have confirmation. Michigan hockey beats Lindenwood 7-4. Big win there. First win of the season. And he's spiked by Minnesota Corral by Michigan. Up to Kendall Murray, and that is blocked. The number five Milani Shaftmaster and into and onto Michigan side. Fantastic block there. Carter Booth back in the game. They've been able to substitute her with uh, Naya Gross. And those two players hard to get balls over. Uh, Booth back in the game with Minnesota being in the lead. Tough spot for Michigan. And then that's another block by Carter Booth, but it goes out of bounds and 
That's going to be a point for Michigan. 9-9, nine, nine, back and forth here. Kendall Murray to serve. Serves to the libero. Tip by Minnesota, what a dig by Hannah Grant and the, the block by Minnesota. And then another save by Hannah Grant. Up to May Protomsky and the finesse floater. Like, I mean, Steph Curry there. Fantastic floater. 10-9 Michigan. Got Minnesota off balance there. First lead of the game for Michigan for quite a while. Ready to serve to Landfair. Up to Carter, but it is instead hit by Jenna Winas, and that is a fantastic spot. A dot, as we like to say. No Michigan defender in the area. Rachel Kill Kelly to serve. To Grant, errant pass, Marusic. Slams it down though, great recovery from Michigan. Did not lose their head, 11-10. Well, Jess Robinson to serve. Minnesota. Up to Landfair, and that is hit out of bounds on the spike by Landfair spikes it, Michigan player hits it out of bounds. 11-11. Minnesota serves. To Mruzic. May Protofsky with the spike. Landfair spikes it, Minnesota. Michigan recovers. The finesse hit by Michigan in that goes into the net. Air by Jess Maruzic, 12-11 Minnesota. To Maruzic. And what a powerful spike. Maruzic to Maddie Dowd, back to Maruzic. Classic give and go play. That was probably the second most powerful spike we've seen. Second to Carter Booth, of course, but that was powerful. Uh, Michigan's still just staying in it. Now they're they're tied up at 12. Uh, this is equal to their point total in the first set. And they, they've just been a lot more competitive, a lot less sloppy in this second set. They picked up their play, and it shows. Haley Hogan back in the game to serve. To Minnesota, up to Landfair, and the powerful spike. She's just so smart, puts it in between the Michigan blockers for the point. Yeah, as much as you're picking up your play, there's not much you can do about that. Thirteen, twelve. Minnesota to serve. And, wow, fantastic read by Maruzic, just out of bounds. And serve from Minnesota, 13-13 here. Much more competitive set. Maruzic to serve. Number six on Minnesota. We get up to Landfair and she put some spin on that one. <laughs> I mean, it look, looked like a cutter, but it goes out of bounds. That was some nasty spin. Michigan 14-13 to serve. Out of bounds from the music. Four teams. Scotty Johnson's gonna come in the game. Serena Nyambio checks out. Landfair serves just over the net. 
And Ruzik could not get it. Really talking Ruzik here. Landfair's been very good for the Golden Gophers. A lot of points resulting from uh, her possessions. Michigan's looking to keep the energy going as a timeout is called and the teams huddle up. Ops crew going back out with the mops. Oh, there he is. <laughs> day tomorrow so if you are prideful Saturday October 8th 7 p.m. back here Nebraska Nebraska is a top team so maybe a, a tougher test for Michigan tomorrow back-to-back -back games we'll see if hopefully Michigan can win at least one of them I love the smaller bands. I love the hockey band. And the, the really, I mean, skeleton crew. It looks like my high school band. I got a good diversification of instruments. I played trumpet. It was fun. Yeah, in middle school. But, uh, I was on percussion from fourth grade to seventh grade. I was not the best. At, at the drums, I, I did uh, xylophones. I kind of, I kind of just pressed uh, random keys, but yeah, I liked playing trumpet. I just hated practicing. Yeah, it's so loud. You got to find a secluded area and not bug anybody. Yeah, but these guys, Michigan band, definitely practices a lot. They're sounding fantastic today. Landfair with the serve to Muzik, up to Murray. Tip, Minnesota recovers. Landfair from behind the attack line, hit back over by Michigan. And that is a finesse hit by Minnesota to Murray again, blocked by Minnesota, up to number three, and that is blocked by number four, Scotty Johnson, but out of bounds. That's going to be Minnesota's point there. And this is the danger zone for the Wolverines. Minnesota could really separate here. Now up two points. They've kept it close, either. Uh, by one point or tied. Now Minnesota opens a two-point lead and they have the serve. And they're serving that late hit by Maruzic. Kendall Murray to spike, and that is absolutely blocked. Nia Gross, that, I mean, just a brick wall. And like I said, this is trouble. Now Minnesota scored two or, uh, three straight points, up 17-14 out of that timeout. Landfair is back to serve. She's been dangerous in the service game all day. Uh, a knuckleball. Michigan barely gets it. Tipped by Muzik. Up to Minnesota. Naya Gross hits it. Back over by Michigan to Minnesota. The tip by Minnesota. But that's when Michigan's points can knock it over. 17-15. Huge side out there for Michigan. And Jess Robinson is back in the game. Jackie Boney coming out. Hannah Grant to serve. Saved by Lanford. Minnesota just gets it over. Back row attack by Jess Muzik off the shoulder of she a was, Minnesota player. She was that flying. Was just power. She took flight on that spike. I mean, from the back of the attack line, getting all the way up. Air Muzik. Looking like John Morant there. And so serves it, and that is a quick spike by Minnesota. Number five, Milani Shaftmaster. Really she crafty just, play. She looked like she was going to set and just took it over the net. Yeah, Michigan she, wasn't ready for it. Yeah, she's a, a, a big assist person and a, a fan, fantastic cha change of pace there. Michigan up to Maruzic from the back row, blocked by Minnesota. Up again, Landfair from the back row as just out of the reach of Jess Maruzic. Yeah, I think Minnesota 
saw Maruza hit that big spike, and, and they immediately put Carter Booth back in the game, and her presence was felt immediately. Um, the the next spike on that last possession by Maruzic was blocked. Returned by Minnesota for another point, and they returned to a three-point lead, 19-16. And Michigan once again in danger of uh, having the Golden Gophers pull away and possibly go up 2 nothing. Currently in the Chrysler Center, on the big board there is an air guitar. So if you are listening this at home, I'd recommend practice your air guitar. Yeah, I don't know if you can hear the Johnny Be Good, but um, I don't know. You can be Marty McFly, jam out to Johnny Be Good. And the floor is being clean. There's your boy <laughs> <laughs> once again. Garen doing a great job. I do work grounds as well. That's where I know I'm from uh, at the soccer games. We repair holes in the field. I mean, that's a very important job. Like, if the floor is not clean, the sports, are going to get hurt. Sports operations is, is a lot of fun. Uh, you get a lot of downtime, and then you do really funny jobs. You know, who, Swiffering the floor. Okay. Well, there you go. That's funny. That's a very funny job. Well, the announcers might talk about you. <laughs> got, some, got some great air guitars going. Jess Robinson rocking out on the big Yeah, but she gets an inflatable guitar. That's not fair. Yeah, yeah. So it's everyone not, everyone well, else has to strum the air guitar, and she's well, got a it's something. It's guitar because it's a guitar inflated by air. So I'd say <laughs> technically I think that is. <laughs> I don't know. I think that's valid. I don't count it. CC to serve for Minnesota. To music. Up to Murray. And that is an... It's going to be a point for Minnesota. It would look like it hit the net, I yeah. think. That was a very tough play for Murray. I mean. And now a four-point lead for Minnesota. Serve CC. Wow, fantastic serve just over the net, out of the reach of Haley Hogan. Minnesota pulling away here, 21-16. And this is what we saw them do. Last set, they pulled away, albeit earlier in the in the set. Um, another timeout called. Michigan needs to stop the bleeding here. And, and we've seen after their timeouts, um, it's been hard for them to come back, and Minnesota's really pulled away. Michigan band playing a great song, 25 or 6 to 4 by Chicago. For all the, I don't know, fathers out there <laughs> that like Chicago. Fans have not left, so that is good. I'll always love to see loyal fans. There are some fan bases that that will leave early. Michigan fans always stick around to support their club. Got 20 seconds here. Left in the timeout. Hopefully the crowd can get can get in the game here. Very important. I don't know. The Chicago's hyping them up. Detroit Country Days volleyball team is out uh, on a field trip today. I saw their school bus coming in. That's not too long of a trip. Uh, Country Day, one of the great private schools in the metro Detroit area for producing athletic talent in all sports. Maybe the future volleyball stars here in Michigan. Yeah. JaVale McGee went there. Shane Jav Battier wow. went there. JaVale McGee. Now JaVale McGee would be and, uh, pretty good at volleyball. Well, I mean, their, their crown jewel is Chris Weber, but. Jess Robinson. Better than JaVale McGee at volleyball. I'd say <laughs> I mean, spikes it down 21-17. Michigan come out of the timeout firing. Tofsky to serve. It's getting real quiet. 
Potofsky to serve. Michigan. The back row hit by Landfair, but it goes into the net and down 21-18. See Michigan going to run here with uh, Scotty Johnson on the serve. Minnesota playing a 2-4 formation. Four in the back, two in the front. So up to Carter and saved by Michigan. The fake to Robinson, up to Protofsky. Saved by Minnesota, blocked by Robinson. And fantastic rally here. Back row hit by Muzik. Minnesota corrals it. Another back row by Minnesota. Fantastic dig by Hannah Grant. And Carter Booth. I mean, you think she's she's very powerful. You think she just spiked into the ground, but no, just tips it over. Michigan not expecting it. 22-18. Still not much you can do about it. Crowd getting rowdy. Just hits the top of the net. Music from the back row. Fantastic save by Minnesota. Up to number three, great block by the calm of Jess Robinson, Kendall Murray, 22-19. And as long as it hasn't been Carter Booth sending it back the other way, Michigan's done well blocking spikes for Minnesota. McKenna Wootzer, not, not the same success as Carter Booth. That's for sure. Michigan to serve. Landfair saves it, but into the net. And 22-20. Michigan is on a little run here, coming back. So we talked about Detroit Country Day School, and I knew about Chris Weber and Shane Battier and JaVale McGee because I like basketball. Um, also Edmund Sumner, if anyone knows him, he played for the Pacers. But Jonas Gray, who scored four touchdowns yes. for the Patriots, 200-yard yes. game, he went there, immediately got cut because he couldn't wake up for practice the next day. Benny Fowler. Uh, who caught Peyton Manning's last career pass of the Super Bowl. It was a two-point conversion. They also have some actual celebrities that I saw. Robin Williams went there. Wow. Steve, Steve Ballmer. Steve, Steve Ballmer, current owner of the uh, Los Angeles Clippers. And the thing that really surprised me, and I didn't know this at all, actually, because I knew Steve Ballmer is from Detroit. I knew Robin Williams lived in Detroit for a short time. And I don't expect you to know this guy, but Jagmeet Singh who is currently um, one of the party leaders in Canada, attended Detroit Country Day School for six years, which is very surprising. There was a chance he could have ended up being Canada's prime minister. That is incredible. But, yeah. My school, I went to University of Liggett School. It's it's Country Day's historical rival. I don't, I don't think they match up quite well against them anymore, but a lot of star power yeah, coming I mean, from DCDS. Stack school. Most famous person from my high school, I think, is uh, maybe uh, maybe Charlie Jones, current re receiver on Purdue. He's been nice on Purdue, Purdue man. Good. Iowa couldn't figure out how to actually throw the ball to him, I guess. Wow. Great return, man, as well. Here we go. We're back. 22-20 Minnesota. Kendall Murray to serve. Landfair hits it up. And... Thrown over by Minnesota. Up to Pertovsky. Blocked by Minnesota. And they get it back over to Michigan. Fake to Robinson. Pertovsky slams down. What a block by Carter Booth. And that's 23-20. I mean, she is just unstoppable. I think that was actually number two um, for Minnesota. And it's... Number two, Jenna Wienis. Wow. My bad, Jenna. And Jess Music fires back. Huge spike. No one in the area. 23 21. No chance for Minnesota. Jess Robinson to serve. Up to Landfair, and oh my god. Hawks back the arm, literally like a robot, like one of those robots that their arms just like spin around, just like a, a 
a baseball uh, pitching machine. I mean, that was that was crazy. 24-21. Oh wow! Just out of bounds. Service error. That yeah, looked kind of close. And Michigan gets to stay alive for another possession. I wonder if they might challenge it. And they are. Yeah, they are challenging. I'm gonna say that was in. I, I personally thought that was in just just on the line. I think, but 23-24. This could be a huge, huge point right here. If they get this challenge, then Minnesota will go up two sets to zero. I wish I I wish they showed up the video board. You know I I love VAR. You know it's not I don't know I don't, know, I don't think it's called VAR, but I you know, I, I love video replays. Would be uh, would be great if we could see it on the board, but it's okay. 24-22, Michigan to serve. Haley Hallgren. A lot of pressure. Crowd is quiet. Similar atmosphere to free throw. The serve, almost out of bounds. Landfair cocks back and Michigan hits it, but it drops down on their own side. 25-22, it's the final for set number two. Minnesota leads 2-0. They go into the locker room. We will be back. We'll be back after about a four-minute break. Thank you for tuning in to WCBN Sports coverage of Michigan Volleyball.
We're back again. And we got the t-shirt toss. I did not get a shirt. I really wanted one. They look very cool. But hopefully Michigan can make up for that by winning a set. <laughs> That would be cool. It would be pretty cool. Uh, shout out to our, our three current viewers right now. Wow, three current viewers. Yeah, we had it up to seven I'm about my mom an well. hour ago. Shout out, Noreen. Shout out to Kobe's mom. <laughs> it's okay. I feel like that's what most of our listenership is sometimes, just friends and family. But we enjoy doing it. We get really cool opportunities here. Do it for the love of the game. Definitely for the love of the game. The love of the game for my 10-hour plus in the car tomorrow. It's all for the love of the game. Yeah. When was the last time you got up at 3.30 to go do something? 3.30? I do not know, honestly. I... My, par my parents, I about it. oh, well, here we go with the volleyball, but I'll just say my parents always used to book the really early flights to Florida okay. at, like, 6 in the morning. That is kind of rough. That is very rough. As Michigan tips it to Minnesota, but they block it. Come back, Merzik. The spike. Landfair comes back with the spike. Fantastic save by Hannah Grant. Michigan soft over. And then that is just... That's an absolute dot by the Minnesota player, McKenna Wucher, from the far side, a, a, a cross-court spike, 1-0. Seems like everybody on the Golden Gophers has got some sort of hammer that they can put down. Oh, yeah. I mean, Jess Robinson has a hammer as well. I mean, she hit that right into... The, the two Minnesota blockers, it just went straight down. So, one more. Allison Jacobs here to serve. To land fair. Great save by Michigan. Minnesota back row attack by land fair. And no chance for Michigan. 2-1. Ken Rutscher has exited the game. Michigan serves Merzik up to Jess Robinson, and what a block by Carter Booth. Jess Robinson just hit it into a brick wall, and it just ricocheted on the Michigan side. That's just tough. Whole well, game's been kind of tough for the Wolverines to be able to overcome the physical uh, nature of the Golden Gophers. Aaron pass by Michigan. They get it over. Back. And Minnesota up to Carter. Uh, number five, Michigan. Cross court spike is out of bounds with Jess Music. 4 1. I mean, Michigan's got to get something here. Serve. Music. Up to Potofsky. May Potofsky. That is an absolute hammer. Really nice spike so far in this set, I'd say. Robinson with the serve. Up to Landfair. And that is. Blocked by Michigan. That will go on to Minnesota side, 4-3. Landfair is just so powerful. Very impressive block. I believe that was May Potofsky. So, uh, Landfair can only get it over softly. Michigan to Potofsky. Minnesota's got it back up, but it Michigan blocks the spike from Minnesota, but it but it falls, drops the defense. Just Robinson will leave the game.
the serve. So up, and that is Jess Merzik. Fantastic dig by number two on Minnesota. A little tip by Landfair. Michigan went up to spike it, but just tipped it over the defense. 6-3 in Minnesota. Michigan. Wow, and that is a fantastic spike by Jackie Boney. Haven't said her name in a while. 6-4 in Minnesota. Scotty Johnson with the serve. Bounces it a bunch of times. A lefty. Eight southpaw. Up to Minnesota. Land fair. Cross court spike out of bounds. Six five Minnesota. Minnesota just been off their game a little bit so far in the third set. Michigan staying involved. Still down one point though. Scotty Johnson. Like 25 ounces here. Lefty. Minnesota up to land fair, and that is a powerful spike. Did not try the cross court. Great job by land fair. She has been fantastic this game. Minnesota the serve. Wow, a powerful spike by Jackie Boney, but it is blocked by Landfair straight into the ground. <laughs> Eight five Minnesota. Here is Jenna Wanas. So Music with an errant pass, but in Michigan it looks like they run into the nets. Nine five Minnesota. Fourth air on just music. So the, the serve to music to Johnson to Boney over Booth over for Minnesota cross court spike music Minnesota corrals it and spike by Landfair. Minnesota has just been so dominant in this game. Um, Michigan has, has, has not yet in, in this game ever gone out to a lead bigger than about two. Uh, Minnesota's had leads as, as much as 15 in this game. Um, they've just been dominant in every facet, and, and they're proving why even at 7-5, and five, they're still the 11th ranked team in the country because the teams they've lost to are very good as well. Um, and, and Michigan, they've stayed close uh, for, for the most part in a lot of these sets, but Minnesota has been able to pull away and put their foot on the gas um, and, and really distance themselves from the Wolverines. See what Michigan can come up with on the timeout. They're getting really dominated here. The hit percentage, it was a 300 point difference. 321 for Minnesota, 038 for Michigan. 21 assist errors for, uh, for Michigan. The passing just has not been on point. When your passing's not on point, it's gonna be really hard to get those easy points. Shaftmaster 
talked about her earlier in the game, second in Big Ten with assists, 10.3%. She's got 30 so far today. I mean, she has been fantastic, unselfish player. Carter Booth has six blocks. No one on Michigan has more than one. Booth has six. And we're back. 10-5 Minnesota. Five viewers. Our high score today of seven. Let's see if we can beat that. Tell your friends, tell your family, tell your acquaintances. And we're back. Minnesota to serve. Up to Merzik and the spike. Blocked by Money Schaffesser, but it goes out of bounds. 10-6 now. Out of the timeout, Michigan, I think, did the right thing. Went right to Jess Maruzic, who's uh, been one of their best players today. Gets her up in the air and spiking, which is where she's at her best. Now she's serving. Maruzic's one of maybe Michigan's best pure athlete. Wow, fantastic save by Hannah Grant. She just makes save after save and land. And that is actually Nia Gross, the powerful spike, goes off the Michigan blockers out of bounds, 11-6. Landfair serves to Merzik. Michigan up the tip by Nia. Hit by Nia Gross. Sneaks in behind the defense. 12-6. Land fair to serve. To Merzik. To Johnson. Is blocked by Minnesota. Up to Nia. And that goes off the Michigan blocker, Allison Jacobs, 13-6. Nia Gross has been a <clears throat> one-woman wrecking crew these past few points for Minnesota, single-handedly getting them up to the seven-point lead. Music to Grant, great pass. And that's a fantastic kill by Allison Jacobs. Fantastic pass from Hannah Grant. She really saves, saves the day out there. <laughs> Hannah Grant to serve in the yellow jersey. Minnesota up. And that is a kill by McKenna Ucher. 14-7. Serve by the libero and what a spinning serve. I mean, that was, I don't think I've ever seen a serve spin like that. Minnesota's been really good in their service game today. And I mean, it shows, uh, no, they're up 15 to seven. And if we've seen every anything from the Wolverines today, that hole is gonna be really tough to dig out of. Um, they haven't really been able to put together a run of eight points in this game so far. Uh, about to be 10 o'clock. Not as uh, long of a game as we might have liked unless it was a Wolverine sweep. Um, but it looks like the Wolverines are staring down a three set 
sweep by the Golden Gophers unless they can put together a really nice back half of this third set. Yeah, and last time they played Ohio State, they were down two to zero. They came back and won the third set. I mean, I really would like to see some. Uh, I am. Um, uh, uh, I'm really intrigued to see if Michigan has the fight to win set three. But I mean, they have been thoroughly dominated in this game. Minnesota's just looked like looked like the better team here. So in about 12 hours, I'm going to be in Bloomington, Indiana. It's kind of weird to think about. That's uh, always what's fun about these WCBN road trips, if you have a chance to take one, Kobe. Uh, like, I drove to Louisville for the women's basketball game last year, awesome. and, and you're in the car for a while, and then you're just in Kentucky on a school night. <laughs> it's weird. You're like, what do you do there? I know. It's like, you're just like, oh, okay, I'm in you know, Kentucky's basketball, or Louisville's basketball arena, why am I here? Tomorrow I'm going to be in Indiana University's football stadium when 12 hours before I was broadcasting a volleyball game at the Chrysler uh, Center. Yeah, I'm not really sure what there is in Bloomington, uh, Indiana. Let's see if... Uh, well, we're getting in the car the and heading right back home. Can, uh, 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 get on that. That's a lot of yeah. people. 85,000 people. Very, very surprising. Thanks, research team. Wow. Big spike from Rusik. And it almost hit the video board. Michigan back. Cross court spike saved by the Minnesota Libero. Up to Landfair. Back to Michigan. Back row tip. Jess Rusik. And she flies through the air just to tip it. That was fantastic. And, yeah, we do have about 25 people on our research team pulling up stats for all you. Uh, the Michigan Daily is seated right in front of us. We are uh, using them for all the knowledge that they have. Josh Brown, a WCBN member, also works for the Daily. A lot of crossover with them. Yep. Did a DSR with him on Thursday. Right. And that was like a double hit by Minnesota. I mean, there was no Michigan player to, to block it. 16-8. I mean, served by Minnesota. Over Maruzic's head. Wow, that was a great play by Maruzic to not hit the ball. Jacobs to serve. Jacobs serves it over the line, and that is point for Minnesota, 17-9. Shout out Michigan softball, 15-2 win over Bowling Green. Exhibition game. He put up a lot nice. of runs in that sixth and seventh inning. I checked in, it was 10-0. And Jess Robinson, no surprise there. 17-10, great kill. Yeah, we're getting into the thick of the sports season. Um, October and November, a lot of seasons are starting and then some seasons are ending, both soccer teams, field hockey, volleyball, basketball, football, softball and baseball exhibition. Grab Michigan to land fair. What a tip. Saved by Michigan. Back over. Back to back tips by both teams. And that is land fair with. That was such an athletic play. I mean, just out of the air, off balance, just tips it off a Michigan player, out of bounds, 18 10. for Minnesota to Maruzic the Dowd and that is over by that's May Protofsky great play by Protofsky on that to just subtly lay it over the net uh, and avoid those harsh blocks by the Minnesota defense 
Scotty Johnson back in. Scotty with two E's. <laughs> Serves. That is. They hit the net. Yeah. Late whistle. Twelve. Don't call the comeback. I won't just yet. Scotty Johnson. The serve. And so the. Up to Landfair and just arm cocked back, full power spike, 19-12. She is absolutely unstoppable. Looking like the best player on the court out here. Renoff serves to Mruzic. Johnson back to Mruzic, cross court spike out of the reach of the libero C.C. McGraw, 19-13. That was placed perfectly by Maruzic in a spot where nobody could get it. Uh, the velocity was great on that spike. And she continues to be uh, a big bright spot for Michigan in what has been a disappointing game so far. Maruzic to serve. Minnesota. Chef Master, and that is a spike. Naya Gross. It's 2013. That is Chef Master's 36 assist. Minnesota serves Grant Johnson to Jacobs. Blocked by Shaftmaster into the ground. 21-13 Minnesota. I mean, we've just seen that front line of Gross and Booth when she's been in there all day, uh, making it really hard for the Michigan offense to get anything going. And for the serve, Ruzik to Johnson. And that is, I believe, she, I believe that was Jackie Boney that hit the net on her spike attack, 22-13. Landfair going on another serving run. Landfair serves Music Johnson. And the attempted Jackie Boney spike is blocked by Minnesota. Man, Michigan ending up like the first set when they lost 25-12. They put up a better fight in the second set, 25-22, but now down 23-13. to Real tough. Johnson up to Jacobs in another block. Minnesota's been unstoppable at the net. I mean, These last about 10 points. Doesn't matter whether it's Nia Gross, Carter Booth, McKenna Rucher. I mean, all of them are so good. But a match point here, 24-13. Landfair to serve. To Mruzic. To Johnson. Back to Mruzic. A short set over. And Naya. Gross Call that inbounds. It and that ends it. will be the game. Thank you for joining us. And it's three sets to zero. The final dominant performance by Minnesota. Minnesota proves a 7-5, 3-2 in Big Ten play. Michigan down to 12-3, also 3-2 in Big Ten play. Thank you for WCBN. I am Kobe. And I'm Will Gregory. Uh, see you guys tomorrow, Saturday in Bloomington. Tune in. Thank you for listening, and a good night, and go Blue.